Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio and welcome to the seventh tutorial of the UI and Game Art for Beginners series. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to make a magical potion in Adobe Illustrator. So let's create a new document. And let's make it 600 pixels in height and width. And we just need one artboard. Use the rectangle tool, which you can get to by hitting M on your keyboard. And draw out a rectangle that is 600 pixels in height and width to cover your artboard. Remove your border and fill your rectangle with a dark gray. I'm just going to be using 353535 for the hex code. Open your layers panel and rename layer 1 background and go ahead and lock it. Make a new layer above the background and we'll call this flask. Now choose your ellipse tool which you can get to by hitting L on your keyboard. Click on your artboard once. And we want to make an ellipse that is 300 pixels wide and 300 pixels high. And go ahead and fill the ellipse with white. Now choose your rectangle tool which is M. Click on the artboard once. Make a rectangle that is 100 pixels wide and 50 pixels high. And go ahead and align the rectangle to the top center of the ellipse. Make sure that half of it is above the ellipse and half of it is below the ellipse. Now we need to send this rectangle to the back. So you can go to Object, Arrange, Send to Back. Then choose your ellipse tool again, which is L on the keyboard click on the artboard once. This time we want to make an ellipse that is 125 pixels wide and 25 pixels tall. Make a copy of the ellipse, control C, and paste it in front, control F, and then move the copied ellipse up about 60 pixels. Now choose your rectangle tool, which is M, and click on the artboard once. You want to make a rectangle that is 125 pixels wide and 60 pixels high. Go ahead and move the rectangle between these two ellipses. Choose your ellipse tool again, which is L on your keyboard, and click on the artboard once. Make an ellipse that is 100 pixels wide and 10 pixels high. And change the color to a light gray. I'm going to use the hex code of E2, E2, E2. Now we want to position this gray ellipse below the bottom of this very bottom ellipse down here. This is going to just be a shadow. Okay, now select the original ellipse that we made in the very first step. I want to make a copy of it, Control C, paste it in front, Control F, then make a second copy of this original ellipse, Control C, paste it in front, Control F, 
and move the second copy to the left by 30 pixels. Select both copies and open your Pathfinder tool. And what we want to do is choose minus front which is the second icon from the left under shape modes. And we want to change the size of this moon shape and let's make it 130 pixels wide and 250 pixels tall and change the fill to a light gray color. Again, I'm going to use the hex code of E2, E2, E2. And then change the opacity to 50%. Now let's make the cork. Go ahead and select this very top ellipse of what's going to be the top of the flask. Make a copy of it, Control C paste it in front, control F. Then we want to offset the inner ellipse. Let's go to object, path, offset path, and we want to offset the path by negative seven pixels. Then go ahead and fill this with a brown color. I'm using the hex code of B 27B32. Then go ahead and move this up by 5 pixels. Make a copy of this ellipse, Control C, paste it in front, Control F. Then move the copied ellipse up 40 pixels. Choose your rectangle tool with M and click on the artboard once. We want to make a rectangle that is 101.767 pixels wide and 40 pixels high. Then go ahead and move this rectangle between the two ellipses and choose the top ellipse. And we're going to make it a lighter color. I'm using the hex code of C6873C. Then go ahead and select all three parts of the cork. Open your Pathfinder tool. And we want to select Merge, which is the third icon from the left under Pathfinders. Then make a copy of the cork with Control C and paste it in front, Control F. Then move this copy down 60 pixels. Then change the opacity of the copied cork to 50%. Now select the original ellipse from the first step. Make a copy of it with Control C. Paste it in front, Control F. Then we're going to offset the inner ellipse. Good object, path, offset path. Again, we want to offset it by negative seven pixels. Then fill the inner ellipse, which is gonna be our potion with a blue color. I'm using the hex code of 009995. Then choose your anchor point tool. You can get to this by hitting the plus on your keyboard. And you want to add two anchor points just above the middle anchor points. You just want to add one on each side. Then choose your direct selection tool with your A key. Then select both of the new anchor points that you just made and delete them. Select the ellipse tool, which is L on your keyboard 
and click on the artboard once. Make an ellipse that is 285 pixels wide and 55 pixels high. Align the ellipse to the top center of the inner ellipse and we want to make sure that half of it is above this inner ellipse and half of it is below. And then change this color to a lighter blue. I'm using the hex code of 00A59D. Choose your direct selection tool with your A key and choose the top center anchor point of the top ellipse. Then move the right handle down and to the right to give the top ellipse a S shape. Then go back to your selection tool with V and go ahead and select the cork in the top of the flask and group it using control G and align it with this original portion of the flask then you can select everything again grouping it with control G and we'll just center it up and there's your very simple magical potion I hope you found this useful. Have a good day.